Hi, welcome to this first tutorial in a series uh, for Quantiloop. We're going to discuss MIDI controller setup in this tutorial. Here at the bottom we'll find uh, the MIDI input control window. Uh, we can see that MIDI controller is enabled right now. We have set our MIDI channel to Omni, uh, which means we'll receive messages on all MIDI channels. Uh, for a basic setup, I recommend to keep it that way. It's much easier to set up. If you have a complex setup, obviously you can assign a channel uh, the way you want. Um, let's go actually briefly into the MIDI control assignment. So by default, we have four assignments set up. These are identical to the uh, buttons on screen, which means uh, we have button one, which is, uh, is assigned a tap action to record, play or overdub track one, a hold action to undo, redo the last overdub, and we've got a double attack tap action assigned to stop. Uh, the same for MIDI controller two, which does it for track two. Uh, then we have the third action, which is a user action. Uh, it performs the action that's been assigned to the user button in the on-screen GUI. And the fourth action is a stop start all action. So on tap it will stop all music. If the music is not playing it will start all music. The hold action will clear both tracks. You need to hold the button for two seconds. And the double tap action will stop everything immediately. So if we go to the top uh, for every MIDI controller, basically it tells us the control change uh, number that's being used. Uh, so you need to like assign a MIDI controller that supports control change messages and it tells us the button type, momentary or latching. Now, although we do support latching buttons, it's not recommended because the latching button will always have a slight delay because it actually sends the message on release of the button rather than press of the button. So we strongly recommend to configure your MIDI controller uh, for momentary action and most MIDI controllers out there will support that. Um, if we look at the assigned actions, actually these have already been preset up for the iRig Blueboard. So if you own an iRig Blueboard, there's nothing to do. You're already completely set up except for ensure that your Blueboard is up to date. Download the latest firmware from the IKE Multimedia website. The initial firmware does not support momentary control change messages. Once you've done so, or if you're already up to date, ensure that you're running in MIDI over Bluetooth mode 2, which you do by holding the C button on the iRig Blueboard and then switching the Blueboard on. Once you've done so, uh, it will always boot up in the correct mode. So let's actually connect our Bluetooth MIDI controller. We can see that we have a blue board here. We'll press connect and it will connect to the blue board. Now if we press any of the buttons on the blue board, it should actually stop playing or if we hit the D button, it should stop again. So let's uh, go back into the MIDI control settings. Now again, this is the default setup and for entry level loopers this is certainly the recommended setup. However, uh, you might have a MIDI controller that has many more controls and you might want to have for instance a dedicated control for stop. Double tap to stop is not the most convenient action. So in that case we basically hit the plus button um, and we can assign a stop action for instance for track one. Now, again, as I stated, um, this is already set up for a blue board, but let's assume it wasn't. So let's assume this is completely set up wrong. All we have to do is we press the learn button and we press our A button on the blue board and we'll see that it detects the controller number and it detects that it's momentary. Uh, we're gonna save this again. Let's go into adding a new action again. So just to show, uh, we have all kinds of actions. Like again, if you have available buttons, you can assign, for instance, the next preset or a previous preset to a MIDI controller. So basically, uh, that's MIDI controller setup. Um, next tutorial, we're going to cover actually some looping. So hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.